1998 BMW 840i. It's an individual car in Atlantis blue with silver leather and Atlantis blue piping with the parallels on. Body weight wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around the car, onto the interior, and then we'll go for an engine start up. Lovely and straight up the centre of the bonnet there. The odd, very, very light surface scratch here and there where it's been washed, but nothing bad at all. A really, really nice, good shine to it, this one. Across the front edge of the bonnet, a few little stone chips, but all lovely and straight around the headlights and up the left hand side around that back scuttle. No problems at all with that there. Really, really nice and shiny. It's a great colour in the sunlight, this car as well. Tiny little stone chip out the back there of the scuttle on the right hand side. We come back down the edge of the bonnet. I say a few little stone chips here and there. We've got a tiny, tiny little bit of rust just at the start there, just bubbling up the very, very front of that left-hand side bonnet edge. As we come down the bumper corner, we're scuff-free on the left-hand side. All those, you indicate when your side lights are lovely and fresh there, no problems at all with that. Even the barge has got no delamination to it. All the grills are intact. Onto the right-hand side bumper corner again, scuff-free, nice and straight across the front edge of the bonnet. A few little stone chips, and that's all to be concerned about there. Up the wing top, lovely and level. No dings or dents at all to the right-hand side wing. A few little stone chips. We've got a bird poo mark there. Lovely and tidy around the arch. No rust coming through the lattice anywhere. On the paint side of things, no blebs around the indicators there. All nice and fresh. You've got your, your, your staggered parallels all the way around on this one as well. Best wheel for an, for an 8 Series, in my opinion, that. Lovely and tidy down the sill section on the lower half. Up onto the driver's door again. Lovely and fresh. No major dings or dents down that lovely big door. Some very, very light surface scratches here and there. Wing mirrors are all good as well. No cracking in there. We're going to jump up onto the roof. Sunroof model this one. Some light surface scratching on the roof. And I mean very, very light. Just where it's been washed and the sponge has picked up a little bit of grit, which does happen. And nice and tidy across the leading edge. There's a few tiny little stone chip on the leading edge of the bonnet there. Uh, bonnet? Roof, sorry. And a little bit of rust just starting on the right-hand side of the sunroof not very noticeable at all really sort of stone chips that are just starting to bubble over a little bit as we come back down those lovely clear pillarless coupless one those lovely clear windows are all nice and straight on both sides down the back edge of the doors all good a few little stone chips no heavy scratching at all around the handle and lovely and straight straight down the rest of the driver's door across the lower half section of that lovely big rear quarter and around the arch a little bit just start at the back of the arch there on the driver's side, but apart from that, all nice and straight down the body lines. Put your hand in the lip there, it's all nice and tied out. Do the arch lip so you can have a good look at that. I've got a little bit of rust there. That is the driver's side there, and a little bit just underneath the paint at the back, but it hasn't broken through the paint yet on the back. You know, you take a pace back there, and it's nowhere near as noticeable. No heavy scratches around the fuel cap. Some light scratching again, the paintwork here and there, just very, very light. Down the rear quarter on the tail lights, lovely and clear on the left and right hand side. Both sides are nice and clear. The boot lid itself, we've got a few little bits just on the boot lid, but again, not really deteriorating from the overall look of this one. A few little bird poo marks here and there, and again, some light scratches where it's been washed. Rear windows, lovely and clear once again. Back down. But there again around the barges, no corrosion. All nice and tidy. Got a little bit start on the left hand side above the rear tail light. Bumper corner, scuff free on the right hand side. Nice and straight across the whole bumper. And again, a tiny little mark on the left hand side. And we've got a little bubble underneath the paint there on the back bumper. But no heavy scratching across the top of the back bumper where the stuff is dragged into the boot. So come down that lovely big left hand rear quarter. We'll do the arch first. All nice and presentable at the top half of the arch. You've got a little bit of rust on the bottom edge there on the left hand side where it meets the bottom of the rear quarter. The rest of it lovely and tidy and straight up there. Again, have a look at this parallel on the left hand side. Across the lower half of the sill section is lovely and tidy. As you come up the bottom of the drive the passenger door, we've got a bit of blebbing across the bottom. It's right on the angle that you'd have to sort of be down level to notice it. Across the bottom of the passenger door, you can clearly see that there. Up the passenger door, around the handle, nice and straight. The rest of the door top, all lovely and tidy. Wing wear is all good. We'll check the sunroof from the left-hand side. Tiny little bit there, just starting on the sunroof on the left-hand side. As we come back down the wing, the front wing, 
Left hand side, got a tiny little bleb there. Rest of the wings, a few little stone chip blebs just starting. Lovely and tidy, very, very presentable this one. And lovely and straight and level down that left hand side. Onto the interior now, the silver with the blue piping. Lovely colour scheme this car. The door card itself is nice and tidy, no rips or tears, no heavy wear around the handle or around the window switches. We've got a little bit of cracking increasing around there, but no rips or tears around the handle there. <coughs> all nice and presentable there, no problems at all with that. The door top is all good as well. Good colour schemes, like I say, a little bit of wear at the front. The seat itself, like I say, the Atlantis blue pipe with a silver leather, all nice and tidy. We've got a nick out of the corner here, sort of creasing, and a little tear there, because that's quite a sharp bolster, that. I will rub through a little bit on the piping its actual self on the right hand side. It's electric memory seats these. All nice and tight. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that there. Dust today is quite bad. Carpet set's all nice and presentable. Like I say, a little bit of crease in the middle of the seat as well. Across the top of the dashboard, no cracking across the top of that lovely big dashboard. Very futuristic that. Nice and tidy. Dials are nice and easy to be read. Down the centre console, all original, no problems at all, no heavy wear around the plastics on the gear selector and all nice and tidy on the rest of the centre console. Headlining is lovely and clean, not sagging anywhere. I'm just going to fold the seat forward now. Rear seat on the right hand side, lovely and tidy, minimal wear really to the rear seat, no rips or tears. Have a good look at that headline again. No damp patches around the sunroof. Centre console, like with it being a proper four seats, really nice and tidy in the back as well. As we go round into the boot, all nice and presentable in the boot. You'll see you've got your BMW 6 stack there. I lift the boot carpet up so we can have a look. You've got a spare wheel which seems to be off a draggy. Well, that is definitely a draggy with spare wheel in the boot there. I wonder if they're the same fitment, I don't know. Boot carpet itself, all okay. As we go into the left hand side, front door cards, lovely and tidy, not showing sure much wear at all to the front door card. No real wear to the handle or around the window switch, no flaking of the plastics. Dashboard again, lovely and presentable from the left hand side. Nice grey carpet set which is in good order. As we come up the seat on the left hand side, minimal wear to the bolster, no rips or tears at all to that seat there, lovely and soft as well. Fold the seat forward which I can't seem to do. It doesn't want to go forward, so please bear that in mind. Nice and tidy in the rear seat on the left-hand side. Once again, minimal wear to that rear leather seat. It's nice with it being a factory four seat as well. You get four individual seats. As we come round into the engine bay, you'll see the Atlantis Blue with the individual stamps, so it is an individual car with spec from factory like this, all nice and presentable and tidy in there. Johnny's gonna fire up this four litre here. <laughs> well, what a noise that makes. No issues at all with that. Lovely and tidy there. No hesitation from that four litre BMW engine. Take it over nice and happy. We'll check those dash for any warning lights. Any warning lights on there, Johnny? We've got a check control. I'm not sure what that means. You can see the mileage, no pixels missing out of the dashboard there. And there you go. <coughs> and there you have it. The BMW 840i in Atlantis Blue. No problems at all with that one there.